run, Roach. Hey, everybody. We are on our way to the Peller's Hut. I don't know what the Peller is. It's been like a week since I played this. Uh, whatever. But I know it has something to do with the Baron, because we're still looking for his wife and child. And... Whoop, the last... Oh, the... The mini-map thing is just freaking out on me. And the last thing we knew was... There was some kind of skirmish, some kind of fight, and the Baron may have been drunk, and they may be just not abducted, but just running away. He just farted at me. What a jerk. And the best way to start up a stream is to start talking to a merchant. Hey, Frosty. How is your weekend treating you? He has little money. Still. If anything it would be worth. You know, I think I did this last time. I think I'm full up. Eh. Hankering to play Gwen. So long. It's like should I save Siri? Fuck that. Let's play some Ah, oh, oh, god. Let's play Gwent instead. So long. Horse. Oh yeah, for us to which ones to buy the steam cell. Personally, I rem the ones I remember buying are this War of Mine, Please Don't Touch Anything, which is an amazing short little uh, puzzle game. What the fuck is that? But Fallout 4, but that's... Oh, I went right by it. Fallout 4, but that's not... It's not Steam Sale related, that's just something I bought while the Steam Sale was happening. Oh, Dying Light's really good. Wanna talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. I'm fat. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Think you need to leave now. Do we? You do. Ha! Ah. Well, let's go then. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. This is not the Peller you're looking for. So you bought Fallout 2. I wonder about a man who Interesting get choice. Friends all worked up. Fallout Tactics, don't know it. Killing Floor, amazing. Killing Floor 1 or 2. Nidhogg is amazing, we should play that. I would not mind fighting you in that at all. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Okay, crazy man. Hey, Nexa, how you doing? Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Who says these omens? I really want to know. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. 
should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the D. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? <laughs> Can you be more specific? Tis not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? This is going great. Princess, my goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? I needed my goat. <clears throat> for reasons. Goat. Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. That guy's just... That guy's just nuts. Oh wait, is this a uh, usable? It's a bell, right? Did it go into my inventory yet? Is it a weapon? Hmm. Crystal items, other... Ooh, Crypt and the Necrodancer. That is definitely fantastic. I cannot believe I can't find this fucking thing. Oh, it's already here. the damn goat is, come on. This is a weird side quest. There you are. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Time to try the bell. Come on, let's go see the beller. 
Don't. Stop it, princess. Come on. Come on. Take you back to the pillar. Misses you something awful. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This is a little meta. Hey! Where the hell did you go? What the fuck is it going? Ah, uh, this isn't good. Bear! Bear! Run, you stupid piece of shit! Well, so much for uh, so much for that. <laughs> yeah, that's a bear. That's a bear, all right. And that, that goat is like, oh, I'm just gonna hug the bear. It'll it'll make everything better. Apparently, the bell or the goat likes the sound of the bell. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. It's true, I killed some. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Wow. This uh, medium quality graphic uh, texture. That goat looks bad. <laughs> Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. Roach is the name of his horse, and yes, he's had several, several horses. Fine. Be right back. <laughs> yes, they're all named Roach. Every one of them. He just names all of his horses Roach. Will this do? Pella's got some weird bullshit going on. I was not expecting that to work. It's over. Is that it? <clears throat> that is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? 
Nay, not Anna. It was the omens. Well, the fuck are the omens? Ray, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Called it. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way for the same. So, is for Father's Eve like you have to wait for it? Because that blood's gotta get pretty bad pretty quick. A curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die. Their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Baron, why are you beating your wife? Beating your wife into a miscarriage. Not just normal, regular beating, but... Yeah, not great. Oh, read the beast Jerry to learn more about botchlings. Botchlings. Botchlings are born of dead, unwanted babies. Oh, that's fucked up. Driven by a mad hunger. Ah, uh, they don't like cursed oil and they don't like axie. So, cursed oil. Might as well do beasts on this one. Run, Roach. I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? Wait, was that just a person? Holy god! I thought that was a, like a monster just over there that I, that I didn't happen to see. That was just a person. Well, they're not undead. Oh, I thought. <laughs> First, if they were undead babies like in Dead Space, that would be amazing. Which I feel like doing a let's play of that again, to be honest. Second. Uh, no. Oh, hey! The, uh, the keep's on fire. That's awkward. 
That's also really cool that this was not a cutscene. And that this is just me riding up to the place I just was. At night, no less. Nothing. You don't... You don't notice that. Okay. No shit castle's on fire. Out of my way. Run for your lives. For... Nice. That's why you're named Roach. We're sitting next to a river. Come on, guys. Not so fast, Roach. <laughs> Roach is like, fuck. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? That horse is on those stairs. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Run, 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 run. Everything's on fire. And we're gonna save. Not to scum save. But because if I die, harm. Hey, Baron. Bye, Baron. Nope. Nope. This shit is on fire. <laughs> gotta hurry, gotta take everything. Yay, save the horses. Ha 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 ha! We've a hero in our midst. The horses! Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? He's... He's... Oh! Oh! They ran from you, didn't they? Mistake. Can't use magic. Oh! Can't... Fuck. Can't... Fucking... There we go. Come on. Oh! <laughs> what happens? I'm dead? That's weird. Why would that kill me? Oh, come on. Robert Baratheon didn't beat his wife. He just ignored her and fucked every other woman. Uh, slightly, I think he's like significantly more abusive to his family. Robert seemed like a pretty cool guy. An alcoholic and, you know, sexual, sexual deviant. But I mean. Oh, okay. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying sick! There we go. Yeah! Wake him up! Oh, I knocked a tooth out. We need to talk.
I like how no one else is even stopping me from beating him. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they'd run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow, present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always gleam. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. <laughs> I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed. And saw it. It lay there. A tiny thing. Defenseless. On bloodied sheets. 
dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. My hair is freaking out. So. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. <laughs> That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. <laughs> the sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. I have to say, the voice acting is phenomenal. Like, holy crap. <laughs> they know how to tell a goddamn story. And this is just a small part. Further. Follow me. It's ridiculous. The amount of effort they put into this. But, and also into his hair. Child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Names have power. Oh, you that's why this area exists. Okay. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it! Will you relent? I'm plowing now. I've done wrong. Good. <laughs> the grave's dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Look! Oh, wow. That is terrifying. It'll bite us in the arse before we know it! Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell! 
What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Do it. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? This? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's, uh... Axion, just in case I need to use it. As much as I'd want to hang that thing off the side of Roach, uh, I think I want to do this the right way. Oh. I guess I think you could just fuck this quest and get the Baron killed. But, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. You know, I mean, leprechauns sound useful. I guess. Theoretically, you could just do this a whole bunch of times, right? As horrific as that sounds. And then you'd have a bunch of fucking gnomes, basically, living in your house. Need to hurry. I keep going in way too fast. He's powerful. Just gonna say. <laughs> exactly, Frost. To make an army of little mutant so no babies. One. It's important. It's, it's a girl. What would Anur of Nine do? Looks like that would be the last fight.
Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Damn, level 10! Sit and wait. Before I sit and wait, let's check out that, uh, that leveling. I have four... Oh, sorry, I have two points on four. I was gonna say. And I have a bunch of stuff. So let's see, I might as well go magic. Because I have three magic and I can put a magic mutagen in there. Wait, where's Quinn? Oh, this is Quinn. I mean, pushes upon it back and deals damage when it breaks. With a chance of not. Oh, I see. So it can deal damage. And the next level, it can knock people down. Interesting. I do not want my shield to drain stamina, so no thank you. Uh. That sounds fun. I'm gonna try this. I suppose I should look at them all. 21% lower, wow. Damages and slows all enemies within a 10 yard radius. Destroys projectiles passing through this area. Shit. Well, because what's it basically? Magical trap that slows enemies who enter the area effect. Alternate is damages and slows everything. And this increases sign duration by five seconds. That's actually kind of handy too. Oh, it's based on charges instead of. I'm gonna go for it. I wanna try this out. Oops. They could just skip by a tutorial thing. Are all of these the same? Ah, yes. There 
There we go. That is a lot. Holy shit. And... Where's the greater blue? Ah, there it is. Plus 10. And now it's plus 40%. Holy shit. Talk about synergy. Oh, now I real. Ah, I don't want this to be here now. Shit. But I don't even have a third point. Uh, alchemy style anyway. Hmm. All right. Oh, and I guess I've been ignoring these, but I don't have any points anymore. This is max A. Oh, it allows me to go into different types of... Ooh. Yeah, just kind of generic shit that I can get at any time. Signs now generate adrenaline points, huh? Oh, this... This seems good. Because I don't have any rage powers right now. So if I could cast a sign with an adrenaline point... That would be handy. Of course, I would like an adrenaline move. Eventually. Anywho. Let's save. And wait. And I should go get my money back from that guy. After this whole waiting thing. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Oh, God, it's Lead worse. Me to those bound to you by blood. Whoa. That's a lubberkin, huh? Freaky little thing. Yeah. I assume other people see it, and then they see a witcher, and they just kind of pretend it's not happening. Yeah. Yep. Alright, fine. Alright, fine. Second time. Whoa, the ground was not quite right for a moment there. Hmm. Uh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Okay, little bit stop. Me something more. I'm sorry. Give me a second, Lubberkin. What the fuck? Oh, and Dragos. Oh, come on! Shit! Oh. 
I need to double check how that works. Just gotta... Damages and slows all enemies. Hmm. Okay. It seemed like they were taking extra damage, to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm glad it doesn't talk, Frosty. Pretty sure I'm happy about that. Gotta bob and weave so it goes a little faster. Oh, oh, jeez. All right. No, no, take your sword out. What are you doing, girl? Fine. Examine. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. <laughs> Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Whoop. The trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Yeah. I am failing at my fucking controls, to be honest. Nothing? Alright. I keep wanting to hit left trigger to cast spells, and I have no idea why. Just... Just... You know, I don't know why I didn't try using slowdown on wolves earlier. That's pretty effective. And I can deal with multiple wolves instead of just, you know, one igni per wolf. Damn, you're ugly. Look, whatever. Just. Just whatever. Wolf. I get time for you. I'm chasing a. <laughs> I'm chasing the ghost of a monster that used to be an aborted penis. Like, I've got my dockets full, okay? A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Oh, hey. Hey, 
Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere is better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye. No, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast! Jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. Damn. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the debt? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. While back I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must be her. Mrs. Anna. Gods. She to Crookback Bog. It's where I saw her last. Gods of all the heavens protect us. Tis clear now who's whispered to her in the night. It is. The crones took her. She must have made a deal with them. A pact. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. Hmm. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is.
<laughs> so I forgot about you. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Whee! All right, time to go straight back. Come on, Roach. 